Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman here is Henry. And today we're going to show you the all new Arctic Wolf 285. So um, this is considered a half ton towable truck. If you have a heavy duty half ton, um, you can put it on a half ton truck. So it's very lightweight, um, laminated, first laminated Cherokee product, fifth wheel that they have on the market. It is a Four Seasons coach. I'm very excited about this new product. We're going to start up front today. This does come with your gel coated fiberglass molded front cap. It does have your integrated LED lights in the front. You also have the Revolution pin box. This is not your standard pin box. Um, it's the Revolution. So if you have a short bed truck, uh, there are two bolts that you can remove from the back that m moves your pivot point from the front of the pin box to the back of the pin box so you don't have to spend the extra money to get a slider fifth wheel hitch. So it does come with that um, already installed. As we move back underneath the cab over here, we have your auto level system. We have your on and off docking lights for your LED lights on the front cab here. Your auto level system to power on, you have your up and down. You hit both buttons and your green light will come on. At that point, um, you can raise and lower your fifth wheel off of the truck. And when you pull out, you can hit auto level. It levels the unit all by itself. And when you're ready to leave, you hit the hitch height. And it will, again, readjust where the fifth wheel hitch was when you pull the truck out from underneath. So it is all automatic. Very nice feature. You'll also have your front. Um, storage compartment here along with one on each side that you can access you have a battery uh, shut off switch right inside here so it does come with your battery shut off switch As we move around to the door side um, you do have your Furion uh, portable solar panel port this is if you do a lot of dry camping and you want to take a portable solar panel along, you can plug into this port and it will maintain your battery on the camper. Also comes with a 20 pound LP tank. Uh, you have one on this side and one on the other. I'll show you the one on the other side later. You do have dual 20 pound LP tanks and you also have an access door on each side to come in from the side of your basement for storage. This is your inverter. It does come with a residential refrigerator. So it does have an inverter to invert it to um, your 12 volt to 110. So it does have a larger refrigerator than most. It does have your triple step at your entry door along with your folding assist grab handle here. And it does have what they call a friction hinge door. So when you open these, you can see it's on a friction hinge and you don't have the latch like in the past to worry about. So that's a nice feature there. If you come up and look at our tires and rims, we do have what they call the radial tires and on the radial uh, on the rims you on the stem, you'll notice the green cap with the number 65 showing the tire pressure that's on there. If your tire pressure gets low, this will turn red and you can see visually see that you need to add air to your tires. I did remove this center cap off of here you can see there's a rubber grommet you can remove for easy access uh, to lube your axles so you have easy lube axles and self-adjusting brakes okay um, out here is your entertainment center you do have your lighted speakers on the outside along with the bracket that is identical to the one on the inside so if you'd like to take the TV from the inside slide it in out here you do have your outside entertainment along with your hookups as well here in the back do you have your four by four inch tube bumper uh, this is where you would store your sewer hose at and also it does come with your travel rack with your spare tire mounted on there you remove a pin on each side of the travel rack, flip it down, 
reinsert the pin on each side. You can put totes, firewood, bicycles, whatever you'd like on here for extra storage. You also notice underneath the clearance light at the top is an, an additional mounting bracket for a backup camera. So that would be additional as well, but it does have that option. So we move around to the outdoor side. This is where your 50 amp connection is. It does come with a detachable power cord. So um, you don't have a cord that you're trying to pull out and one you're trying to shove back in, taken away from storage on the inside. So it does come with the detachable 50 amp power cord. And here is your outside shower. It does come with your hot and cold outside shower. It also comes with a 35,000 BTU furnace. Uh, this will be your vent for that. It also comes with a six gallon gas electric DSI water heater. Um, this here, you would be able to heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric, and you can heat up to 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. If you come up here and look, there's an on and off switch in the lower left hand corner. That's the electric side of the water heater, and I'll show you the gas switch on the inside then. Above that is your black tank flush. Um, once you dump your black tank, you can connect a water hose to this and flush your black tank out in case you have any solids build up. You have your city water connection where you connect your water hose at a campsite and you have your satellite and TV connections above that. This is your fresh water connection. This is where you would fill your fresh water tank if you do any dry camping at uh, like say state parks where you don't have a water hookup. You can fill the fresh water tank, turn on your water pump on the inside and you're ready to go. Here again is the opposite side of your basement storage. There you can see your uh, detachable power cord that does come along with it. And then like I mentioned on the other side you do have your secondary uh, 20 pound LP tank. I believe that concludes the outside of the 285 Arctic Wolf and now we'll move to the inside. So we move to the inside now. We have your kitchen on the off door side slide out. You do have your center uh, island with your high rise pull out kitchen faucet sink. You have a theater seating as well on the off door side slide out. Trifold sofa in the back along with your dinette and your entertainment center on the door side slide out. I think today we'll start up front in the bedroom area. As we come into the hallway, you'll have a flight of steps going to the upper deck. And right there in the hallway is your monitor panel. This is what, where you would check your levels of your battery, uh, black, fresh, gray, and uh, your, uh, your tanks. And then also you would have your gas switch to the water heater and then your water pump. Um, you would also have a touch screen thermostat to operate your furnace and air conditioner. You also have a touch pad, touch pad for your leveling system. So you can either level your jacks from inside or from outside. And then you would also have your light switches, uh, awning and slide out switches as well. Okay, as we move on up into the hallway, you have your bathroom. Here you have your vanity. You have your medicine cabinet, and then you have your, what they call a wardrobe slide out here. So you'd have a triple slide. So you have wardrobe doors and a, um, what we call a wardrobe closet here in the bathroom for towels there. You do have your stand up corner shower. along with your sliding glass doors. You do have a skylight above it. As I open this up, you can see the interior. There's your skylight. And then you have a Create a Breeze fan above your toilet. And the toilet does have nice leg room. So that is important as well. The medicine cabinet is also um, does have storage, so it's not just a mirror on the wall. So you do actually have an actual medicine cabinet to store things in. And as we move into the bed area, you'll notice that this is a queen size bed. 
and it is what they call a uh, reclining bed it does have the bed lift system on it so I do have it reclined about midway right now um, you'll notice a switch above the headboard where you can extend and retract it so it does lay flat or you can recline it so that's a nice feature that automatically comes with these and on each side of the bed you'll have a receptacle along with a USB port and also at the head of the bed are pendulant lights one on each side um, this is in the purple mode right now at the push of a button you can flip it to a reading light and then you can turn it off all right as we move on back to the foot of the bed you do have some storage underneath and like I mentioned earlier you have a receptacle and USB port on each side of the bed um, it's kind of dark back in there but you can see it does have that on each side of the bed so you do have a his and a hers um, you do have um, ducted air conditioner uh, so it does go all the way through the unit and in the bedroom area you do have your TV bracket along with your TV connections as well and then you would have your uh, light switches and a slide out switch for your wardrobe slide out and you'll also notice the light switch is a nice feature there they are lighted light switches so you don't have to fumble around in the dark to find them okay moving back out into the kitchen area we do have your island kitchen like I mentioned um, it does have a uh, what they call a solid surface countertop and it does have a flush mount uh, sink cover so you can remove that it gives you more countertop space if you're not using your kitchen sink it does have the double bowl stainless steel sink and it does have your pull out kitchen faucet right here you do have cabinet door along with a bank of drawers so you do have nice storage there and on the top drawer it does have your dividers for your silverware at the front of the kitchen area you do have nice storage there you do have overhead cabinets with your glass inserted cabinet doors along with your ceiling tray lots of lights very well lit I do like that um, they've done a very good job at that you do have storage in the base on the one side and then also the um, refrigerator is a residential refrigerator so that it is larger than most so you don't have the 8 cubic foot refrigerator you do have the 12 cubic foot and it is powered by an inverter so you do have a very nice large refrigerator it does come with your glass drop-in cooktop so this does give, again give you more countertop space if you're not using your stove this comes with a bifold cover and you do have the three burner also has your stainless steel oven that matches your range hood and microwave in the overhead cabinet now as we move back into the living area it does come with your theater seating these are um, reclinable uh, chairs and it does have your cup holders in the center council and the outside and also these do have your lighted cup holders and then you have your heat and massage as well towards the back is your trifle sofa so if you do if you look at the pictures on our website I do have that in the down position so you can see what that looks like but it does give you additional sleeping room if you would like moving over to the dinette side of things you do have your table and chairs here and you do have storage in the seat cushion of the chair if you lift those up you do have storage underneath each uh, dinette chair and then you have your entertainment center directly behind that it does come with your TV and uh, you have your Furion stereo DVD player right 
beneath it you do have storage in here as well as behind the TV um, you'll notice the clip there and there that you can remove and you can open that up you do have storage behind the uh, TV as well beside the entertainment center again is just giving you a nice amount of storage there along with four pull-out drawers and the base of the entertainment center is your fireplace and it does come with the fireplace so the price you see does include that as well and in the ceiling uh, see you come up here it does come with a ceiling fan as well for air movement circulation have a ceiling tray above your island and I believe that concludes the inside of the 285 Arctic Wolf and you can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845 again my name is Phelan and thank you for watching